Hey legends, today we're gonna to be reviewing Crep Protect Toe Box Shields. What is up legends? I hope you're well, it's your boy Link as always. Today we're reviewing something I've never ever tried before which is Crep Protect Toe Box Shields. So the idea of these is, is you put them in your trainers, they sit in the toe box, they kind of semi-rigid, and they hold your toe box in place. They hold things, keep it tidy, keep it neat, keep it all sort of rigid and stops it creasing, basically. That's the idea because creases are an issue if you're someone that wears Jordan 1s, as you can see from these beat out old brush strokes that the toe box there, where it bends like that, is just even in the canvas pair. And they've actually stained along the crease in the toe box, these ones. And I recently tried cleaning these with um, Crep Protect wipes. So check out my review of that. So yeah. These got very creased. These are my favourite Jordans that I wear nearly every day for work. So, I got some new ones. Ta-da! I was very pleased with these because I went into JD today and they had Jordans at retail in my size. Which I've never seen Jordan 1s in my size at retail ever in my whole life. I've always bought them from resellers. I have bought some from like Nike in like the raffle type stuff and sometimes they have them but you've got to be quick on like the night website so here we have the reverse bread toe i believe they're called they're a nice sort of red one they go nice with the new link good and black and red merch so if you've got these trainers you want to match it up that merch is where you want to be as you can see they're new they're fresh they've got a lovely toe box on them so the idea is we're going to use these to stop them from getting ruined also a bit of crap protect spray so i've used this before to protect my trainers, I'll do it after I put these in because I'm going to be rubbing them and getting up there in them. I've never used these before, so I don't know how good they are. So let's try. So the Crep Protect patch packaging is generally quite premium, which I like because it is a premium sort of custom brand. These are about £12. So as you can see, they're a black inside, which I think works well. Because if they, if they do show through the lace holes or anything at all, the black is gonna look all right. And then inside they've got a yellow, what's supposed to be gel, but that's very hard. Sort of fitting inserts. No instructions, no instructions whatsoever. So the instruction basically is you take it out the packet. Bend it, then push it in. The instructions really aren't very detailed. These are the large size, which is for 8 to 13 and a half. The medium size is 7 to 12 and a half. Why are they different? Oh, it's just UK. Oh, no, this is the large size, which is UK 7 to 12 and a half. I'm a 10, so let's see how they fit in the shoes. Got your little Jordan. And it's one of my favorite things about Jordans is how they had the little Jordan man on the inserts instead of Nike, even though they're made in probably the same factory as all the Nike stuff. It's the little things that make you happy, isn't it? So, I need to get one of these out. So let's get them out. They've got the crep protect banding on the side. I like subtle stuff like that. Tropical scented they should be. Yeah, they smell fresh then. I just want to wear it on my face like I'm Bane or something. It smells so good. So this is the left. Well, it does not say it's the left. I'm assuming it's the left. There's no indicator as to whether it's left or right, but I'm assuming left is the one with the, the bigger bit on the left. Let me just check if they tell you. No, they don't. So... On a picture, it looks like the brand is on the outside of the shoe. We'll start off with the left. So you just push it in. Doesn't feel like that's gonna be comfortable. I'm not gonna lie. You can feel this in there though. You can see that your toe box isn't 
It's kind of getting held up. Which will make this the right. I haven't took the stuffing out of these. But it's not a stuffing, I don't know what that is. Uh, insole? It's not an insole. What's the thing that holds the shoes together for called? Is there any cobblers out there in the legends you want to tell me? So I guess you've got to try and really stuff them as deep in the shoe as you can. But they don't feel soft enough to, for me to think, oh, that's going to be comfortable on my foot. I feel like there's going to be two bits of plastic stuck in my foot. And for me, comfort isn't worth them looking good. Like one of the reasons I wear Jordans is they're super comfortable. Doesn't feel like the right, the left one's going in as good as the right. Maybe it's because I'd already had a practice go doing them. I'm going to put them on and then I'll tell you how they feel. Absolutely don't like them. It is strangling my foot. And I can actually see some bumps in the, the leather straight away. Let me show you this. Yeah, you can see that it's in there. It's kind of like stretching my shoe. That's like, like the toe box ain't going to crease. But they're going to crease there. What is that? They're not comfortable. The shoes are fire though. But that is not comfortable at all. It just feels like something's strangling my foot. The right one did go on better. So let's try that. So the right one looks better, but like you can't see it. But it feels worse. I'm not going to be able to wear them like that. So that's what it looks like inside the shoe. Well, you've got this little bit. That just doesn't want to go sit there. Like it doesn't want to become part of the shoe there. So that's like trying to poke out into your foot the whole time. That was not comfortable in any way, shape or form. So I actually disliked them so much that I've took them out of my shoes. They do smell good though. To be fair, I'm going to add in the caveat here. It could be that Jordans are a bit low in the toe box for them. It could be these fit better with a like Air Force One, perhaps. I think they're another one which is famous for like the creased toe boxes. But they're, they're like they're flexible, but they're, not, they're they're rigid enough. They're flexible enough to go in the shoe, but they're rigid enough they're uncomfortable. And the gel padding is so thin. I think, to be fair, if you want to use these, you definitely have to go up half a size, I reckon. If you went up half a size, they might work. I haven't tried it, though, so do it at your own sort of risk. Maybe if you've got a pair of shoes which is, you know, you've, you've tried to cop it, you can only get half a size bigger, maybe then try these. But, yeah, I'm not even going to be able to review how well they hold the toe box together because they're too uncomfortable for me to wear, which is a massive shame. But, yeah, so the, the Crep Protect... Toe box shields are a no go for me, which is a real shame. So, yeah, I don't like them. In terms of squat out of 10, I can't. Pff, let's give them a three, and that's only because they smell nice. Like, they, they're not going to protect my toe box because they're a bending part of my, my Jordan before I even wore them. And they weren't comfortable. They didn't. My shoes didn't fit as nice. Yeah, I don't think they're worth it for me. For a tenner, they're not worth it. They, if they would extend the life of your Jordans, well worth £10 every time, especially in your more fancy, like special editions, limited editions, and your hard to cop stuff. Like, if these were going to extend the life of your Jordans and you've got a pair of, like, Travis Scott's or something, you're going to you're gonna drop them straight in. But they don't. They really don't. They don't do anything for them because they're not comfortable. And for me, comfort's everything. So, yeah, for me, 3 out of 10, I wouldn't recommend them. But I want to be clear, that's not me dissing Crep Protect as a band, because although I've reviewed two Crep Protect products now that didn't really work out, I still swear by the spray. The spray I use it on every pair of trainers I have, the only pair of trainers I didn't use it on, ended up looking like that. So there you go. I really swear by the spray. I think the spray is the best sort of stain and waterproof and spray for trainers there is. I've tried a lot of other brands like Dyke Do One. 
and some other brands do them, but this is the best one that I've tried personally. But for me, it didn't work. What I'd love to see in the comments is your tips and tricks to stop your toe boxes creasing. Have you got a tip to try and stop them toe boxes getting creased? Have you got a tip that means your toe box is going to last longer? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know how, how you guys are keeping your toe boxes. I do know some people chuck these back in every time they wear them. That for me, for like daily beaters, which is what these are going to be, is too much effort. I can't be bothered to put these in every time I take the shoes off. Personally, I know some people can. I respect that. I respect the grind, but it's, it's not for me. All there is left to say is thank you for being one of my legends today. Give the video a like if you're still watching because you obviously like it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content from your boy. And if you enjoyed me doing a little bit of sneaker content recently, let me know. Because I do I do like my sneakers. I'm not the biggest sneaker head. I don't go out and spend thousands of pounds on them. But I'm, I'm into it a little bit. So if people want to see more of your boy link collecting and buying and trading. And you know just having a little maybe a little shop. Let me know in the comments down there. Thanks so much for watching today guys. If you've enjoyed that you can click up here. And you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.